Okay, so your course that you're teaching, how do you see it um, compared to some of the other courses that are available in New Zealand at the moment? A lot of the other um, people that teach reflexology will have anatomy and physiology as a prerequisite. So you've got to go to a provider to do your anatomy and physiology before you can do reflexology. And so they just teach the reflexology side of it. The course that I teach includes uh, anatomy, physiology and obviously your pathology because um, the thought and belief with our institute is you've got to understand the illness to understand uh, the disease to understand what organs, glands and parts of the body would help um, with that particular illness. So the course is a 15 month um, course, we meet once a month. Uh, usually a Saturday is dedicated to the anatomy side, so there's a, an exam to do every single month on the uh, system that you've learned that month. We give them a study guide and a, a textbook and they study from the guide and the textbook and go through um, all that is required and um, they get like a tutorial of exactly what is going to be covered in the exam and what would be required of them. So they do the anatomy side Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon they do um, some practical where the students get to work on each other and that's where um, you know, I'm sitting there watching and we can get them uh, their technique quite um, you know, correct. And then on a Sunday what we do is we do a second module. So uh, we've got a number of different modules that we, we do. We do um, the 12 meridian and five elements, we do nutrition, we do a business module, we do um, the mind-body connection, we do biomechanics of the feet, we do um, ear reflexology, we do hand reflexology, um, and um, I think that's about it. I think there's one other but I can't think of it right now. And you have case studies as well that yes, your students yes. do? They have to do six case studies and they have to do a hundred hours clinical um, practical on feet before we can qualify them and then at the end once the case studies are done oh and they also have to do as, um, a written thesis um, or a project um, so what what we would what we ask them to do is to take one of their case studies and do several treatments on that person um, and to research um, a person's illness so say for example they get a a person who comes in that might be um, suffering from um, arthritis. They could do their thesis based on arthritis, all the different forms of arthritis, how arthritis would be diagnosed medically, how doctors would treat it, um, what other therapies would help it, um, how diet could come into it, and then of course how reflexology can help with arthritis. So they track it all the way through. Um, the research project that they do. So they, they do do a, a very in-depth um, research project. Uh, so they do that, they do their six case histories, um, and then they do a final practical exam and a final theory exam. And once the practical, um, you know, they obviously will do the practical on me, and I have a very strict marking criteria from the International Institute of Reflexology, and then um, the theory exam is written um, obviously by the International Institute, so by Dwight Bayers originally, and uh, we have a marking sheet for that. And it's, it's a two hour exam, theory exam, but it's a very, I think, a very fair exam and it's, a, it's an excellent exam because it uh, really covers all the bases and uh, students uh, have really got a good understanding and grounding by the time they get through that exam. And how, how many students do you take at a time? Uh, the groups are usually quite small. You know, unfortunately I'm not NZQA um, approved as a school because NZQA are not giving any more private tertiary um, schools funding. So um, it's just a, a privately funded thing so that obviously um, not too many people have got that much money um, set aside for uh, their learning. So it's a privately funded thing. Um, I take anything, I have had as many as 15 students in Africa, but here the, the numbers are definitely been a bit smaller, so between four to six students um, at a time. And what time of year do you usually take them in? I 
Sometimes I do twice a year, depending on demand, but it's usually um, late January um, or July. So those are the two times of the start dates. Uh, possibly I am starting one in July this year. Okay, so you've got some people that are interested for yes. July? I get a lot of inquiries coming through, um, and I've got one person who's already sort of said yes, so we'll see if we can get a couple more. All right, well, yeah. good luck with that. Nice talking to you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.